do, do, do. Hello, YouTube. This is Flooded Mon. Fourteen. And we're back with another episode of Soul Calibur 2. Let's just go into it right away. Uh, I think I want to switch to Zhang Hua. Uh, yeah, just to try someone different. Um, yeah, how you guys doing? Um, I'm recording this still on the same, um, or Zhang Hua, the card. Show me your cards. <laughs> no, that's a completely different card. Card with a K is apparently a actual sword, which, yeah, it's interesting. Uh, quarter stand. Oh man, Keelik is so good in this game, man. And yeah, I'm kind of good with Ivy, so we'll get the Mirage Blade. But yeah, I just am here in the shop. Uh, uh, I'm recording this, as I was saying, the same day that, uh, uh, right, that I recorded, uh, the, uh, <laughs> what am I trying to say? Oh my goodness. The same day I recorded episode two. It, it's the same Sunday. Come on, get it together, Josh. Just let's, let's. You know what? I need a drink. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> what? Like my mind just blanked out. Uh, I mean, I was starting with a good intro there, but then I don't know. Anyway, we head now east to Thuban. Get ready for the epicness, guys. Chapter two. The journey begins now. <clears throat> If you're on search for Soul Edge, you should head east. That's the land of Thuban, like the free city of Benet Nash. But there's never any flow of people. Perhaps you can gather information there. Following Edgar's advice, you set off toward the east. It is the Juliet. Oh, Romeo, Romeo, where are for art thou, Romeo? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Wow, did I quote that right? I don't think so, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> following Edgar's advice, you set off toward the east. You do not know if you would really find information about Soul Edge in Bennett's Bennett Nash or not. But it's better than wondering aimlessly. You turn to look back just once. Have you ever done that as a kid? Have you ever, like, ran away from home and then, like, turned back? Yeah, I, I did that. I did that. Well, I ran, like, two blocks away. <laughs> and, but then, like, the moment I turned back, I was just like, I can't do this. You know, you know. It's kind of kind of an interesting... Anyway. Or no Kastad. Or no Toki. You win this time, said Naon, after the battle. But I'll catch up to you soon. Tomorrow, I'm going to take the test again. <laughs> oh. And I've heard you're searching for Soul Edge, Joe Ruigi. If that's the case, then we'll surely meet again. It seems we're rivals with the same goal. Now go, my blue eyes, white dragon! I'm looking forward to our next encounter. But then, I will have met Kisara and learn the true nature of my Ba, and unite with my Ra, and summon your Ka, aka your defeat, Yugi. <clears throat> Sorry. Joe Ruigi! You face forward again and begin to walk step by step. Your journey had begun today on Dragon Ball SC. Alright, and we come to the Thuban Fairy. And. Woo, that fanfare is loud. Sorry to the headphone users. <laughs> And sorry if my voice is loud, but eh, if you subscribe at this point, I think you're used to my voice. Now, this mission is quite hard, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At first, you just look at it, and eh, difficulty one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't. You know, most of the missions, I just tend to click, like, A, like, fast, fast, fast. A, 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 no, look at that. Land 20 hits. 20 on the enemy and survive the run. Now, that might sound, not sound hard, but guess what? I'm pretty sure... There's only like 20 seconds. Yeah. Good luck. This mission will take you. This might mission might take us the whole episode. I'm not even joking. It's that hard. Anyway, I'll be glad if we beat it the first time. Let me just say that. <sighs> Story time. <clears throat> I'm gonna need some more water. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> 
That's good stuff. Okay. <coughs> Dragon Ball Z Neroid. Neroid should the voice go. <coughs> you found your path blocked by the great Thuban Reaver. Did I say Reaver? That's funny. Following the river in search of a place to cross, you soon came upon a ferry boat crossing. It appeared that Pickle was training in the river, doing his meditation. You immediately <laughs> headed for the pier, but it appeared, haha, <laughs> see what I did there? To have been abandoned for some time, and there was no one else around. Fortunately, there was still a boat remaining, but as you prepared to launch into the water, a human figure appeared before you, using water clone jutsu. Oh no, it was Suigetsu. Uh, that's funny, because we haven't even got to that point in Ninja Storm 2. That, that, is, that is funny. Anyway, uh, he claimed ownership of the boat and demanded that you give him all the money you had in exchange for the right to cross. He was obviously a bandit, preying on travelers in the area. You sighed and drew your weapon. If you hit him a few times, or Adar, he'd just give up and run away, leaving you with a free boat ride. Alright, so here we go. And I picked the wrong character. I probably want to choose Keelik for this mission. But, we'll see. I'll try it. Yep. So, now. It says 20 hits, but here's a secret. Here's a secret about this mission. Kicks. Kicks are quick, and um, some people have combos for them. Now, Zhang Wa, I'm trying to think, does she have combos with kicks? I think she does, actually, so let me try this. Okay, and you see there's only 20 seconds on the timer. So most of the time, <laughs> you'll lose this mission, not because you can't get the 20 hits, but because the time will be up. Pretty tough mission, anyway. Yeah, and he'll attack you too, which, yeah, again, distracts from time, so. But, uh, yeah, pretty hard mission, man. But you just use attacks that are quick and, um... I don't know, you may want to block like every now and then, but really the worst thing you can do in this mission is actually knock him down, because then like, as you see, you can't hit him. Well, you can, but anyway. Yeah, we got 18, that's actually pretty good for the first try. But yeah, let's switch to Keelik, and um, for good reason why. Yeah, let's go to the core staff, because it doesn't really matter the damaging. Or anything like that. Now, what you want to do with Keelik is square plus triangle. Square plus triangle. Or X plus Y. And you don't want to push a direction with it. Just press those two by themselves to start. So, yeah. See that? That's five. Like, all right. Now press it and press down like this. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. And then you can mix it up, you know. Because he'll attack two. So, there you go. That's forward X and triangle. But there you go. X and triangle. Wham! There you go. See, that's how you clear this. You just need, you need the master. You need, you need Keelik. Over already. Ah, <laughs> uh, Keelik's so cool, man. I have a lot of favorite characters in this game, but Keelik, Keelik's what's up, man. Uh, anyway, now we can switch back to. Actually, let's switch to Astroth. I haven't used Astroth. Since I've started doing commentary, it's crazy. I guess I haven't really needed to yet, though. Anyway, story time! <clears throat> now, as you see, the trick with this is the village up of, uh, I'm gonna pronounce this, uh, most people say Arch, but I'm gonna pronounce it Archie, because it has that E at the end. Eh, probably pronouncing it wrong. It's probably like Arche or something. Arche. Yeah, maybe I should say Arche. That sounds more like, I don't know, like, Fancy or something. Or is it? Is it? Is that Leviosa? It's Leviosa. <laughs> you have to accentuate the L. Be the ball. Wow, I'm making like uh, you got sir references up in here. That's crazy. Mission, mission, mission. Focus, focus. Okay, strong gusts will constantly push and prevent you from stopping at the edge. Defeat the enemy under this condition. Now that also applies to the enemy. So, if you're good at using guys like Astroth, like I am, just use a move that flings them across the, off the stage and then probably slide into them with a kick or something. Anyway, <clears throat> at 
epic voice time. Again, one star difficulty, not too much to worry about here in the beginning. <laughs> After crossing the Thuban River and heading east, Goku came upon a small village. I mean, Joruichi, you came upon a small village. Judging from the fishing nets hanging dry in the sun, this was a fisherman's village. Much like Grandpa Gohan. A commotion in the village square piqued your interest. So you headed over to take a look. There you found the young people of the village engaged in a test of strength. Bankai! Who is it? Come in! I'm just doing a let's play on Soul Calibur 2. <laughs> What's up, man? Guys, I don't know. I just ran into the guy. He had some questions about eh, cable and eh, anyway. Anyway, <laughs> where was I? Uh, I forgot. Commotion in the village piqued your interest. <laughs> like we're just gonna keep that all in. I'm not cutting. No cuts in this video. Sorry. Uh, there's only the young people in the village engaged in a test of strength. They fought one on one on a wooden scaffold. A new champion eventually emerged. But just when you thought the hubbub would subside, the crowd's excitement grew for the next exciting episode of Dragon Ball GT. You looked around to find the source of the commotion, only to realize that you, Joruichi, were the cause. The villagers then learned that you were from Regulus, the home of the Super Saiyan race known as Flood. They <laughs> They pushed you up on the scaffolding without giving you a chance to speak. In other words, you're being forced into something that you have no idea what's going on. That happens a lot in life. But anyway, <clears throat> you found yourself facing the young champion, Goku. You didn't know this when you were down on the ground, but up on the scaffolding, the wind was strong. It threatened to blow you off the platform at any given moment, giving Goku and or Vegeta a chance to use his new attack, the Big Bang attack. Watch out, Goku. Vegeta's attack starts now. <laughs> wow, I definitely need some water off the top. Mm. Still no cuts in this episode. Yeah, sorry about the unprofessionalism. I'll make some kind of markers like, yeah, skip from... What was that, about like 11 minutes to 14? Yeah, skip that. Anyway. Yes. Uh, ooh, I think I remember the... I think I remember the conditions. Yeah, yeah, just defeat the enemy. Alright. 
Let's do it, Astroth. Quit now, if you want to live. <laughs> awesome, Apple. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> ha! Swing! Bad about hey, bad about hey, bad about swing. Oh, I love using Astroth. Perfect. Hey, get up, fool. <laughs> I said that like uh, Killer B. Get up, fool. Yeah, fool. Nice. And with that, we get a road to the Mint Car Mine. Now, once again, um, I can understand if people are skipping these because uh, yeah, we've kind of already done this, you know, on the other save file. It's just I, w I wanted to include all the commentary, and we weren't that far away in the beginning, you know, from the first few missions. So, eh, you know, if you're skipping this episode, I'm not really going to be mad at you. I, I really understand, but hey, if you're here with this episode and you like the epic voices and the awesomeness and the unprofessionalism, you should leave a comment below and be like, Hey, Flood, that narration voice from the... It sounds exactly like the announcement from Dragon Ball Z. That's what's up, G. Or be like, Hi, like the video. Or, Hi, I didn't like the video. What was up with that, like, three-minute gap, man? Be professional. Or, you know, you know I, I welcome criticism on this channel. Anyway, back to character select. We'll go with Ivy and the Mirage Blade. And to the Mink Mine, yes, we've actually done this before. It's actually a really, really short maze. Most of the mazes in this game are pretty long. I'm pretty sure this one's only like three squares. Anyway, difficulty, two star. And that's mainly for the last fight. Uh, anyway, uh, yes, very simple mission. Navigate through the enemy infested dungeon. You'll see that a lot in this game. But I like it. I like mazes and puzzles and stuff like that. So Probably another reason I... Really, really love this game. Um, anyway, <clears throat> back to the voice. <clears throat> Having defeated the hero of the village, Vegeta, <laughs> you expect you expected to be torn apart by the crowd, but instead they seem genuinely impressed by your fighting prowess and your ability to use a destructive disc like Krillin. Even the young man you defeated praised your regular train fighting skills. You quickly made friends with, with the straightforward, honest villagers, but it seemed they had a problem. The mine upstream was poisoning the river and killing the fish. Wow, that's actually bad. In general. They were planning to send people to speak with the miners, but the miners were a violent group, and the people had no choice but to prepare for the possibility of a showdown fight. Bankai. Having come to like people, these people, you soon found yourself agreeing to help them. Ah, yeah. Yeah, people tend to grow on you. It's, it's interesting. As expected, the negotiations did not go well with the miners. The miners immobilized the villagers with poison. Oh, wow, really? And forced them out of the mines due to the poison. <laughs> Once my poison seeps in, seeps in, it's over. <laughs> oh my god, the Sasori reference! It's Sasori, dude! So sorry. Due to the poison, however, they couldn't even make it back to their village. Fortunately, it seemed you had not drunk very much of the poison. Maybe you had an ability like immunity, like Snorlax. Anyway, you infiltrated the inside of the mine. You needed to get the antidote to save the villagers, even if you had to take it by force. Let's fight. Alright. Why didn't I take the blue pill? Hmm. Gotta have that antidote. I could have thought for a better... I'm sure there's a movie quote I'm not thinking of that does have an antidote. Oh, man. There's one right on the tip of my tongue. But I can't think of the, the finishing line. Anyway, pretty sure this is a short dungeon. Let's go in into it. Now, one thing I never explained on the... Two souls are fiercely entangled. Love this thing, by the way. But I'll explain it, it as we go through here. But yeah, one thing I never explained about the way a dungeon works is that, um, you know, um, once you pick one character to go with you into the dungeon, um, you're pretty much stuck with that character until, you know, until you're... Whoops, I accidentally hit the pause button there. Until you're... Oh, really? The low sweep? <laughs> you jumped out, you fool! <laughs> ah, she 
should have won that fight anyway. But uh, <laughs> that <laughs> has to be the luckiest win I've ever had, and I got it on video. <laughs> anyway, um, what was I saying? Um, 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 yeah, yeah. Like since I picked Ivy for this dungeon, for example, I can go back and pick Astral. It's time to die. But if if you do that, you will have to start all over, and that sucks. You don't want to do that, so avoid that if you. Oh, yeah, avoid that if you can for sure. So anyway. Back to the fight. Let's pay attention. Yeah, he's they're all low sweeping us here, so let's low sweep them right back, right? Like <laughs> Oh yes. I love that attack from Ivy where you just you stab the whip through the ground and just like wham, like you just hit him, man. It's awesome. Uh, okay, well, I think we got this guy if we block. Yeah, and there we go. Alrighty. And that's for hitting me, yeah. <laughs> That, that is such a nice move by Ivy. Uh, and it can go long range, mid range, or short range. Uh, the gateway, should I say, to that move is Y and B on the Xbox controller. And on PS2, it would be triangle and square. Yeah, just try that out a few times um, either way. And you'll, you'll, be, yeah, you'll be getting people through the ground in no time. Yotsumitsu. I think this actually unlocks Yotsumitsu. Is that right? And we'll see. I actually really love this theme that's playing. I'm gonna turn up the volume a bit so you guys can hear it. Fight! Alright. Woo! Gotcha, bro. Yeah, nice. Yeah, they're really going for the low sweeps. I don't know why, but they are. Anyway. I got you. Oof. Close to the edge, yeah. There we go. That's fine. Nice. I thought he was going to air combo us. Woo! Woo! You guys see that guard break? Woo! Watch out, son. Nice. Oh, I hate this move. Okay. Good, he got off. So, there we go. I don't think so. Woo! Gotcha, bro. Oh, well, he got us. Nah, Can't be. Can't be. Oh wow, and even though we lost, apparently you need 2,500 to get to Bronze Neo fight, so, eh, we got up class. We'll fight him again. Yeah, Yoshimitsu is actually probably the most challenging matchup for Ivy. Why? He's quick, he's fast, and really kicks are sort of her weakness, if you think about it. So, because most of her best moves are horizontal and or long range, so, yeah, the, like, the kicks are kind of her, don't get me wrong, you can beat Yoshimitsu, well, and really, any character can beat any, if you, if you, you know, just be persistent, but, I mean, what I mean is, like, I don't know, like, some of her better moves, you need, like, time, or, you know, you just need, ooh, you need, uh, yeah, you know, yeah, there we go. Oof. Man, I messed that up. What? Wasn't I blocking? This can't be. Huh. I'm gonna have to check that on the replay. Was that actually a low hit? Or did I... What? I must have just released the block button. Oh, well. Alright. There we go. There we go. Yeah, we got him now. We got him on the ropes. Oof! Ho ho ho! That stab in the foot! <laughs> yeah, as you see, like, this is how I normally play. Like, in this fight, I haven't really been blocking at all, but went quite a bit better than the other ones, so. Wow. Yeah, I can see why this is two stars now. It's, it's not the first two fights, it's like this end fight that's just. It's just wow. Don't move. Don't move. Alright, we got him. Come on. We got this guy. Oof. Oh, don't do it, boy. Thank you. Gotcha. There we go. And really the time can be sort of a pressure thing, but don't let don't let the time, you know, fool you. I mean Oh gosh. I was trying to grab him while he that's funny, like you can't actually grab him while he's in that state for Namu, like that's funny, man. Whew, got that guard, great son. 
Oh, ephemeral battle. Cool. That's awesome. Alright. Ho oh, ho, oh, gotcha, bro. Woo! Man, Yoshimitsu is so good. He has good range, too. Like, he has better range than you would think. He's just an all around good fighter. I don't think Yoshimitsu really has any discernible weakness in terms of scope, so. I don't know, it's pretty interesting. Woof! Got me, bro. <laughs> Maybe doing that low pose. Oh, I know better than anyone I should have dodged there. Nice! And you just saw the power moves there. It was three power moves. And I basically should have dodged each one of them, so. Oh, well. We'll get him. We'll get him. It's just a matter of time now. Alright, let's see. Man, what's this I fall with? I did, so. Oh, I snatched you right out of the air. Awesome. <laughs> Entwined. Woo! Nice, Yoshi. <laughs> The crab is so like, I don't know, it's so funny, man. Have a nice trip. See you next fall. Dude, did I just quote Power Rangers like the movie? Like, is that is that happening? What? Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh, gotcha, bro. Oh! Alright, one grab. What? Again? Wait. Do I have this set to... Hang on. Do I have this set to auto-block? Wait, wait. Is that what's been wrong? Okay. Oh! Maybe it's the Mirage Blade. Like, can I actually not block? Like, let me see. Okay. Hang on. Okay, dude. Come on. Okay, no, I can block. I think the... Mirage Blade, like, apparently, you can't block after a certain point, so, nice job. Woo! Gotcha, bro. Yeah, apparently, you can't block after a certain point, so. That's crazy, man. Whew. Nice. Yeah, because, like, I've noticed that in at least two fights in a row, like, uh, yeah, where I'm, I've been blocking it, and it's just like, the attack, like, went through, so, wow. Okay, so it can block, it's just, you know, Whew. gotta crack that whip, Yoshi. Nice. I was trying to do my power move, too, which is funny. Yeah, when he does that, he heals, by the way, like that move you saw, so, it's kind of annoying, really. Woohoo! I finally remembered that one, Yoshi. Alright. You better watch out, man. Oh, I wish you would have flew off the stage there. That's probably the easiest way I like to win. Yeah, I know better than I said by now. Nice. All right, there we go. I think we might have him this time. I hope so. There we go. Kick. There we go, guys. You're revolting. And with that, we level up to silver neophytes. A lot of gold for winning that mission, but whew. That fight, yeah, thought so, thought so. So you do unlock Yoshimitsu, aka Yoshi, for that mission, and wow, that fight, I think that took us about 10 or 9 attempts, that's crazy, man. I actually thought that this, um, let me go back here as a review, I thought that this one, yeah, the 20 hits, I actually thought that would take us 10 or so attempts, but man... It was funny, I was actually like, <laughs> before we went in the mine, I'm just like, oh yeah, this is easy, nothing to worry about. Yeah, yeah. Wow, maybe I should have came in there with Astro, so I could have just knocked him off the stage. Eh. Oh well, I kind of like how it turned out. That way you guys can see, because like, especially if you're a beginner, like, I've been playing this for a while, and that mission really tripped me up. So I can just imagine for a beginner playing this, that mission, Mancar Mine, for the first time, like, that's... That's the key, see, this is the mission where you find out, okay, either I really love this game and I'm going to keep playing it no matter how hard it is, or, you know what, this is just a fighting game, why am I trying so hard, I'm going to quit, and go back to GameStop, <laughs> and exchange this for a new game, you know, because I just bought it within 30 days, so see, like, <laughs> 
this is the mission. This is where you find out <laughs> if you're returning this game within 30 days or not. <laughs> I've done that with a lot of games, though. I, and I'm sure other people have, too. 